I honestly don't know what's going on in the studio now. <laughs> uh, that's a beautiful South and Rotterdam. It's 90, 90 minutes to four, and my final guests today have completely taken over. Hello. Hiya. Hello. Hiya. Hello. It's a uh, perfect blue sky in the studio. We have Pina and we have uh, Jane as well. Uh, welcome back. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Lovely you to have you us. back. Oh, you're very welcome indeed. Um, we haven't actually worked out how this is going to sound, have we? No. We haven't, we haven't had a sound check or anything professional like that, have we? <laughs> no, but that, that's a part of the rock and roll lifestyle, you know. Yeah. You just shoot from the hip and, you know, you live, you live a little bit on edge, you know. Yeah, I, I'm, a very bit much, crazy. Yeah. I'm very much living on edge. Yeah, um, <laughs> we thought it was going to suit you. Yeah, yeah. however, uh, Jane has brought in chocolate, which was the most important thing to actually exchange that rather than to do any sound checks. She's also brought in a tambourine for me to play. How about that? I'm going to be part of the band. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Now they just shake a little side to side. And just. She's actually been teaching me. How's yeah. that? How's that? Yeah, it's very light and delicate. Too... So it's, um, yeah. That's Is it. that too much? No, you'll be that's, fine. Is that once right? you hit the rhythm. Right, great. Yeah. I think like a little rattlesnake. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> now, now, first of all, uh, where have you been since I last saw you? Where have you been? Uh, I've been all, all over the place. I think the last place has been Finland. Yeah. Oh, Finland. Yeah. And yeah. that's where we picked up the chocolate. Oh, was it? Yeah. Oh, now, finished chocolate, what's that like? It's very good. Is it? Yeah, it's very good. I don't know why. They, Do have, a, they have a talent for it. it yeah, something. And uh, uh, it's a little bit of a, a secret because until you and uh, yeah, until you try it, it was actually, yeah, the Finns that gave me a present and then I just bought a ton of them to... But we've been scoffing most of it before we get here. Yeah. <laughs> so. now, now, Finland is somewhere, I seem to think, where they have lovely, like, thermal baths and everything. It is. Did you try that? Oh, many times. I've done it many Did times. Did you? Yeah, it's good. Oh, but you're from Sweden. Yeah. So so you kind of do that anyway, don't you? We do it. Yeah, we kind of adopted that thing anyway. Everything Finland has that's good, we steal. And everything that's bad, we just throw back over. You know. <laughs> oh, but hang on. Just around the block. <laughs> I, I got tricked because I'm from Australia and they told me that it was a nice warm um, lake to go and uh, yeah. climb into after was it a not? sauna. No, it just, uh, just basically thawed out from the ice. And oh. then I just jumped slam in, and it was like seven seconds, and yeah, they do an ice bath. Sure. They, yeah, they, ice they, they cut up a hole, hole in the ice kind of thing. Where you just slide yourself down, and then you jump into this sauna that's like I don't know, it's yeah, fifty yeah. degrees or whatever, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. I, I mean, um, I'm a swimmer. I like swimming, but I have no. I'm, I'm I'm a complete wuss. Like I like warm water, so something like that would probably kill me. I mean, I mean, if you if you would do the same thing to a glass bottle, it would probably break. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, okay, it's incredible. The what it does for your circulation, because when you get out, then you're just completely <laughs> tingling all over after being really, really hot. Then this ice cold. Uh, yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, yeah. Good, it's good mentally because if you survive it, it's yeah. like you got a second chance. You know. <laughs> I love it. Like if you, you survive it, everything is going to taste better. You know, like the morning croissant or whatever. Everything's going to be fantastic. <laughs> and then your heart stops. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, now, are you going to play um, your fabulous new single, Astronaut? Are you going to do that? Mm -hmm. No, no, no. I love that song. That is oh, very good you. indeed. Thank you. And yeah, I'm going to be on there. Yeah, she's going to be on Astronaut. Yeah. Woo! Perfect. Yeah. Now, now um, so you've been travelling lots and lots. You've just come back from Finland. And are you just constantly on the move? Uh, not always, but uh, we both work in... We've got other... other projects and stuff that we do but as far as perfect blue sky this is where we sort of meet here and then yeah. we go on the road we sort of consolidate and write songs and still writing um but basically it's been just the last six months just putting it together prepared for the tour and when yeah so and it's happening yeah 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 we're loving it and this is this is our um this is our seed this is our seeded country so this is where we're yeah, we want to be. Fabulous. Yeah. Okay, uh, so you're going to play live for us on the show. Yeah. You'll love this. It's called Astronaut. I don't know what it's going to sound like, though, because we haven't done a soundtrack. Um, <laughs> but let's You'll do see. fine. <laughs> let's yeah. see. Here we go. Yeah. When you're ready. The tracks on your silver sky while the golden light passed you by what might have been the sun bears down every day wasting time and rolled away so little left of it into a house you never own and a wife you never loved for a dream you never dared Everywhere is no 
ever there and the ever doing time just for doing stuff and ask for courage a little too much easier to stay with a house you never own and a wife you never love far and free and you never dare Not too loud. Ah, brilliant! Thank you. <laughs> I love that. I love that. I, I'm a I'm a big fan of your work. Thank, Thank you. you. Oh, that's Thank great. you. I can hear the '60s influence in that song, and that's kind of you're really into that, aren't you? Yeah, we love we love the whole that '60s, '60s, '70s psychedelic um, psychedelic era, but also you know it was such good songwriters and such good artists oh, yeah. back then. Mm. So inspiring. Yeah, too, it was. All, it was no template. They didn't have that product thing, you know, where we tried to create a product, everything came from the heart. It, it just seemed to be more, you know, a bit close to how we feel about the music for us. So more spontaneous and just writing songs and playing them? Yeah, exactly. We don't plan. We don't plan to write hits and we don't plan, plan in that way. I mean, every song is written, you know, at a, at a, you know yeah, you at morning coffee and, or yeah. whatever, you know. Yeah. And it literally does happen like a kitchen table. You ask questions and then you sort of, sort of formulate a theme and think, so how do we answer this, you know? Mm. It's, it's, yeah. Now, Jane, yeah. Um, you have done some, some incredible things. Um, uh, you, you were a sound, en you are a sound engineer. Oh, uh, that's the guy that's next me. door. <laughs> Pina, uh, <laughs> you, you have done, <laughs> you have done some incredible things. Uh, you are a sound engineer. Yeah. And you've worked with somebody called, I've heard of him, Ed Sheeran. Yeah, that's right, yeah. He's one of the, the guys that I've been bumping into on the way. Yeah. yeah. How long ago was that? Is that recent or...? Oh, uh, that would have been 2012, maybe, or 13, I think. Yeah. It was just, it was just when he won the um, uh, British, first big British award over here. Yes. And he was doing, uh, I think he was doing like a promotional thing then over in Sweden. So it was quite a small venue. I mean, no one knew how big it was going to be, but the venue he did, did his show, it was like 900 people. And when you sit there uh, with headphones on, like I've got here, being the sound engineer, uh, did you have any idea that he was going to be this mega star of music? Because he's quite a reserved, kind of calm guy, isn't he? Yeah. Modest bloke. The, the thing how it works is that, that they always they bring their own private. So actually, the, pulling the fader is another guy who's doing. I run a sound company that, that takes care, and, and you know we work with all these big artists, but they always have their own okay. personal guy. That's just how it works. You yeah. Make your, so somebody else would be leaning over yeah, and doing the faders. I would pretty much be sitting here and then someone else would be doing the faders. Wow. But someone has to be responsible for, <laughs> for the system, look after that everything is steered, everything is in order and how it works, you know. Okay. Like this, uh, we got this, this guitar strap from it. Ed Sheeran. Yeah, this Ed Sheeran reason. guitar straps? Yeah, oh, yeah. Wow. Gave them to us. Get them on eBay now. <laughs> no, the funny thing is, back then I didn't know who it was actually, to be honest. We had no idea. And everyone wanted to be on the guest list for this show. And I didn't understand it. He's just a kid with a guitar. I mean, what, what's, what's up with this? You know? yeah. And then he was just, he was amazing at, at capturing the audience. He was just fantastic, you know. And all these kids were screaming and, you know, and I had a lot of, um, uh, I don't know if you know about Nanny Sherry and that whole family. They, it's Eli Sherry's sister and yeah. that, that whole family was there. And they were standing behind me in the mixing booth because they wanted to see this guy. Wow. You know? 
Yeah. So it's always quite cool, actually. It was like he might be time. able to play guitar, but can he play tambourine like me, eh? Probably not. No. no. I think I think you're one of the best in, in, the, in the country right now. <laughs> Very kind. Um, now, now you are out. Are you touring at the moment, or what are you doing? Yes, we're making our premiere our shows throughout the UK, so we've got about seven shows altogether. Why are you not coming to our part of the world? Probably. Oh. Apart from being here, obviously. Well, actually, we've got a little little spot after this yeah. at the oh, Hot Goblin yeah. Music Yeah, we're going to do one store. of the music yeah. stores, yeah. We're going to be there at five o'clock tonight. Do you know, I love that place. It's oh, a beautiful lovely. place. Have you been there already? No, we're, we're, we're on the way. Yeah. You're going to have to move some of the um, guitars out of the way. Yeah, all right. Tiny. Oh, perfect. We'll have Lovely. That. That's yeah. perfect. Yeah, well, that, so, that's where we're heading to next. Yeah, so you're there at five? Yeah, I think it's five, isn't it? Okay. Yeah. yeah. Yes. If I all you listeners just, out yeah. there, please come there, say hi. We'd love to see you. That's yeah. brilliant. Yeah, okay, five o'clock. Uh, it's Park Street. It's called yeah. Hobgoblin. And uh, it's a music store, which is very nice, isn't it? It's so lovely just to see a music store, isn't it, still oh, existing. Oh, yeah. And I love that movie, what's called High Fidelity. Oh, yes, you know, yes, yes. That yes. movie about the record store. Yes. I, always, I always have that, that picture in my head when I'm going to go and do an in-store thing, you know. And you know this all, <laughs> Jack Black. Yeah, and you all meet all these cool characters, you know. It's like super nerdy and they know everything about oh. who played the bass on that album. Or whatever, you know. It'll be exactly like that. Yeah. Oh, you know, exactly that. how you imagined it. Oh, perfect. Oh, I can't wait. Uh, lovely to see you guys. Thank you so much for coming on. And Astronaut, you see, you don't think you're very commercial. I think that is a commercial single, that. I love it. I love it. I think it's great. Uh, Thank you so much for coming on. That is perfect. Blue sky. You can see them this afternoon, 5 o'clock. Hobgoblin. Really struggling to say that. Park Street in Bristol. They're going to be there. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thanks for having us.